Are you an affiliate marketer? Not sure whether to cloak your affiliate links with a 301, 302 or 307 redirect? This video is going to teach you about all the different redirect types and exactly when to use them. One of the big things that new affiliate marketers get confused about is whether to cloak their affiliate links. Cloaking just means to hide your affiliate link behind a link redirect. And a link redirect is just a fancy way of pointing one URL to another URL. There's actually three different types of redirects. There's a 301 redirect, a 302 redirect, and a 307 redirect. And we're just going to explain the difference between each. So a 301 redirect uh, essentially says to the browser that this page has now moved to a different place permanently. Um, the visitor's browser will actually remember it in its memory and next time they visit the URL uh, it will take them straight to that place. A 302 redirect is a little bit different. It says we're sending traffic to another place but we're not actually really sure why. The visitor's browser should not remember it but sometimes it will depending on your server setup. A 307 redirect says that we're sending traffic to another place but it's only temporary and the visitor's browser definitely will not remember it. So which redirect type should you use for your clogged affiliate links? A 301 redirect is good if you know that you're not going to change the destination of the affiliate link very often, or if you know that visitors aren't usually going to come back and click on that same affiliate link again. 302 and 307 redirect types on the other hand are great if you know that your affiliate link destination URL might be changing again in the near future. So that wraps up the video for today. I hope that it helps you understand which redirect type to choose when you're clicking your affiliate links with Thirsty Affiliates.